Jonathan Bennett, happy Pride. Happy Pride! Thank you for joining us. And congratulations on your marriage. You're a newlywed. That's so exciting. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Yes, we're so excited. We're married. We um, had the best, like literally the me and James had the wedding of our dreams. It was the best moment of our entire life. Well, my entire life, for sure. Him, like I got the better end of the deal. And it's so fun because we get to say husbands. That is so wonderful to hear and that is so cool. What do you feel like you've learned about yourself or what's been the biggest surprise to you being in love with James? Ah, uh, okay, here's the thing. I don't know who needs to hear this, but there are kids out there that need to hear this because I was the kid that needed to hear this. There is someone out there that will love you for exactly who you are. All your quirks, all the flaws you think are flaws will be strengths. That's the best part about being in love with James. That's what he has done for me and it's just changed my whole life. That's so wonderful to hear. You know, you guys are very present on social media. Do we post a little bit? Do we, do we post? A I little bit. Noticed. James okay, really does. On. I've seen him post a little bit every now and again. I'm kidding. And one thing that I think people really relate to or that they love about watching you guys is they see a gay power couple. They see a queer power couple. In many ways, you and James, I think, have become role models to people in the LGBTQ community. First of all, thank you for saying that we're role models. That's an honor that you would say that about us. We don't kiss on Instagram and post it because we want people to see pictures, because we like to take pictures of us kissing. We don't take pictures of us on Valentine's Day and buying our first house together and our wedding and our proposal. We don't take these pictures and post them in these videos and share these moments in our lives because we like to see ourselves on social media. We do it because we remember when we were young, not having two guys that looked like us, that had the love that we wanted to have, publicly on anything. All we were were gay stereotypes and caricatures of what a gay person is. That's all we saw in the media growing up. So when we do that, we do it so little Jonathan and James can be scrolling through Instagram and see a couple and a love that looks like what they want and they feel represented and they say, oh, I can have that and it's, a, it's obtainable. That's wonderful to hear. So last question then. Pride is all about celebration, it's about history, it's about being ourselves and celebrating that within our community. For younger people today who have to deal with a whole other host of problems than you or I did, say, growing up, what's the most important thing you want young LGBTQ people to know as they're growing up? To all the LGBTQ plus youth out there that are growing up and feeling like they're too much or they're not good enough or they're this or they're that and they're not worthy of living their life proudly and loudly and being who they are, it's very simple. You in this moment right now and in every single moment of your life, no matter what you're doing, no matter how you're feeling, you are never too much and you are always enough. You don't have to be anything other than exactly what you are right now.